guys! So today we're going to talk about my cloth pad care routine. I know this has been a long time coming. We have talked about it for a while and I'm actually remembering to do it this time. Um, so I'm going to show you where I store my used cloth pads, how I soak them overnight, and what I do to clean them and to sanitize them. So I store my cloth pads in a little bucket when I'm at home. The, the used ones. Um, my good ones are in a drawer, my good ones, my clean ones are in a drawer, um, and I just kind of lay them all in there so I have them by size when I need them. A lot of people opt to use a wet bag. I don't use a wet bag unless I'm traveling, um, and anytime I travel, it doesn't matter at what point in my cycle I am traveling, I will always bring cloth pads with me. So um, this part is where you would put the clean pads and this is where you would put the used pads um, and it's lined with uh, PUL which is a waterproof material. Um, I do not use this at home because I don't always remember to wash my pads the moment my period is over and my fear is if they would sit in this waterproof bag even though it's supposed to allow air to move through it that it might get moldy as opposed to just putting it here and then they just they're dry they're completely dry and because there are no chemicals and it's dry it's air dried there's no smell to these at all you don't know that they're in my bathroom you would have no clue if you came into my bathroom that these pads have been sitting here since my period three weeks ago because I'm disgusting and I don't always remember to do that I'm busy and I don't always have time so that's just the reality of it. Um, I'm not going to show you my pads here. I will at the end for a comparison sake of what they looked like before and after my carotene so you can see that they really did get things clean and if you don't want to see that you can just skip that part at the very end of the video. But for right now I'm just going to show you what I do with these bad boys. Okay. So this just sits under my sink. I take it off. I fold them in half and I just lay it lay them on top of each other. Um, I got this little bucket at Ikea for like a dollar. So um, I, to clean them, I use a bucket like a mop bucket or a you know car wash bucket. Sometimes, where's my other bucket? It's not in here. I have a smaller bucket if it was a a smaller period if it was a much lighter period or if this bucket is being used to collect a drip from my air return. Um, but because this one was available, I'm going to show you in this one. Obviously, I'm not going to fill it all the way up to the top. I don't have that many pads here to worry about that. But what I use is OxyClean. I do an overnight soak in OxyClean and I use, um, this is the OxyClean Free, it's free of dye, perfume, and chlorine. And it's got a little scoop inside, and I use about half, a quarter to half a scoop. Um, I bought this three years ago. I'm almost out now, but three years, that's, that's pretty good. So, crunch up some of those chunks. I will use about that much you can see in there. So I will, I don't have nearly enough room on my bathroom counters. All right, so I'm just gonna toss this into the bucket and close the bucket up before I spill it. Now you can also do this in your washing machine. You can start like a small load and let it fill up, let it agitate a little bit so everything gets nice and bubbly and then pull the button out so that it stops doing anything and just leave it overnight. I do that a lot of the times too. But today I'm just gonna show you in the bucket. So I am going to um, put some water in here and get it kind of going and bubbly. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have filled the bucket up about half full. Um, I'm doing this in my shower. So this is just sitting on the floor in my shower right now. And what I do is I take each pad face down and you just kind of push it down until it absorbs all the water. So I'm just going to keep laying the pads in there. Okay, 
So now I am going to leave those to sit overnight. Okay, so it's the next day. This has been sitting overnight. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to pour the water out of it. I forgot to say yesterday, you want to soak in cold. You also want to wash in cold. Hot water will make blood set, so you wanna do everything in cold. So I'm gonna throw them in my washing machine with regular detergent, whatever you normally use to wash your clothes. Use that to wash your pads. But I am also going to add two cups of white vinegar, and the vinegar helps to sterilize everything. Um, I also use vinegar when I sterilize my sea sponge um, uh, tampons. So I'm going to use regular detergent and two cups of vinegar. I'm going to run a full wash load on cold. And then after that's done, I'm going to run another wash load of just water. And that way it makes sure that all of the soap, anything I've been soaking it in or any laundry detergent has been completely washed out of the pads. At that point, I am then going to throw mine in the dryer. You can hang them to dry. I used to hang them to dry. I didn't notice any difference between hanging them and just tossing them in the dryer. They will last you longer if you hang them, I guess. I have not seen any signs of wear or tear on any of my pads and I've been using them for three or four years now. So, you know, I think the dryer is another stage of, of heat that'll help sanitize. If you hang them, you can also hang them in the sun and the sun will sanitize and can bleach on any staining that you may additionally have. I don't ever have any stains. So I'm going to go ahead and do this process and when everything's dry I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparison before and after. So if you don't want to see that, thanks for coming. I hope this helped you. If you do want to see that, that'll be right after this. Alright, thanks for watching guys.